Welcome to Flip City, a place overrun by the undead. Brace yourself as you navigate through hordes of the deceased, fighting tooth and nail to reach the extraction point in a thrilling battle for survival. The Flip is a high-octane zombie shooter that cuts straight to the chase. No long preparations, no wasted time, just pure adrenaline-fueled zombie mayhem. Picture this. You leap into the lobby, assemble your team and dive headfirst into the game. It's exactly how I like it. Fast, intense and heart-pounding. Recently, I had the incredible opportunity to explore the flip alongside its developers. Instead of recounting what I learned, I will let you hear it straight from the source, the creators themselves. In the moment, at the moment we're in the lobby. The lobby is where people meet up to play. The lobby holds 12 people and then it flows over into new shards and copies of the lobby. So 12 people can get together and then choose to go on missions. The missions start in the helicopters and both sides are behind you. And then the, um, in the lobby you can do things like customize your avatar. You can play around over at the stage and just you know, hang out with your friends. Or you can sit and chill over by the bonfire and, and just chat, All right, but depending on the mood and what you want to do. What we find though is most people hang out by the mission board looking at the missions. What I'll do is I'll take you over there and we can have a look at uh, the missions and decide you know, what we want to play. The mission board is probably the most important part of the lobby. Uh, what it does is it shows you active missions at the top and if you look at the helipad 2, that's obviously this helicopter. And helipad uh -huh. 1 is this uh -huh. helicopter on the, oh, the left. Okay. Mm -hmm. So on the top, it's, there's the Graveyard of Shadows. That's the mission that's active on that helicopter right now. And for 1 minute and 45 seconds or whatever it is, it's going to be available over there. Then, after that countdown time has gone down, the next mission will pop up, which is the Merciless Horde. So those will cycle every five minutes. So on the left board, we have all these special missions, and they're the ones that you want to go to. Uh, you want like, a bit more of an experience. You want to freak out your friends and you want to like, have death put and destruction. It, shall we? Um, there are some on here that are quite fun, which are quite easy. So there's one called Duke Nuke. Mm -hmm. which is where you get grenade launchers with extra ammo clip Ooh. and uh, it's a lot of fun and uh, can be a bit crazy but still fun however those are the special missions so really what you want to do probably for the first mission we want to be over on the right and take one of the normal ones and go for that the bottom on the left and right both of the bottom ones you'll see ones that have special dates and times mm -hmm. those are event missions and what that's for is that's to make sure that people who want to make sure they're together for example, if you play in Europe and there's not that many players online and you want to have a group meeting, then you want to come to one of the special events to make sure that's when everybody joins up. That's a meeting that people come to and they hang out together. So it means that there's always going to be a time where, yeah, let's go to the flip because now there's that special event and it's happening at this time in the lobby. But what we're trying to do is create a scenario where people can play Reports together. We as a team believe in social play, in social gaming civilians and social interactions in VR because that's where the fun is. Awesome. So nearly everything we've done about this game has been about trying to bring people together, not split them apart. To remember so, when we go into the game, reloading is just about pointing up. That's how you reload. Very simple. You don't have to worry about mm -hmm. like, trying to get it reloaded and <laughs> freaking out. You can just point up and reload. Um, different weapons have different times of reload. So the shotgun is a very long reload, but it's very powerful close by. The pistol has very quick reload, but it's less powerful. And to start a mission, like you know, you just go up to the chopper and you click to enter. Let's go and do that. We join up there. We can see what happens. Awesome. You'll find boxes like this with weapons in, mm -hmm. and you can choose to grab them with your grip button and change the weapon. Okay. You've now got a more powerful pistol. To reload. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Oh, she's spooky. Oh. Ooh. Okay. That's only got one ammo clip, so be careful. Now, the alien node here is something we need to kill. We need to destroy all of these that we find. So if we shoot them, it will trigger the alien horde, or the uh, zombie horde. So, all right. So. And one of the things that we basically decided to go for was uh, as many zombies as we could from Matt Mayhem, Arcade Action. And I don't think we'll find as many zombies in any other game. Oh, 
my gosh. It's mad. It is mad. The number of zombies you get increases with the number of players, as well as the difficulty of those zombies. Awesome. Chill. <laughs> Oh man, Chilling. you need to be more chill on me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we progress through the level, it will get harder. And the difficulty is defined by both the number of fast zombies and the number of big ones, as mm -hmm. well as the number of canisters. The fewer canisters, the harder they are. Basically, the canisters are like weak spots, so the more weak spots, the easier they are to kill. Okay. Um, and when you get like a big guy with no canisters, then you really need to freak out. Oh, alright. So far, how many different maps do we have in this game? Um, we have 12 maps and 12 many, maps. many variations of fog and game modes. So I think there's actually thousands of variations within Awesome. Them. And we'll be adding more maps post launch. Yeah. And then get in. Yes. Definitely. Get in. Get in. Oh, oh. Yes. I mean, I mean. <laughs> The other thing that we've done that I think is worth pointing out is that the whole game is set in an open world city that we built mm -hmm. and each of oh. the levels it goes across the city. So we awesome. will see some of the same locations in some of the different missions but coming at them from a different angle and going through them or ending there or starting there. And it is actually one big city called Flip City that we're in. Oh. And my goal is to be able to make more missions from joining up missions and creating new missions across it um, as we continue to play the game. Awesome, awesome, great idea. Basically what we've done with the game um, is we've managed to get about 50 zombies on screen, um, which is quite significant at the high, high hardest difficulty. Mm -hmm. um, and that is why you get that crazy sense of a horde coming out. In summary, this game is tailor-made for folks like me, those who crave quick and easy access to action. Whether you want a 15-minute adrenaline rush with random lobby players or prefer diving into multiple missions with friends, the flip delivers. The sheer number of zombies, the chaotic scenarios and the different levels of intensity across different maps make it an absolute blast. The best recommendation I can give to this game is the fact that I will be playing it. So, see you in the lobby.